Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a half double crochet decrease. If you like what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. Here, I'm just going to start making a row of half double crochets. I'm going to make a few so we can just start this row off and you can see what that looks like here. And when you start your half double crochet decrease, you do it almost just like you do a half double crochet, at least to begin with. So you yarn over and then you're going to put your hook through that next stitch and you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull up a loop. So now you have one, two, three loops on your hook. And now what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over again and you're going to go through that next stitch and you're going to pull up another loop. So here you're going to have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook and you're going to yarn over again. And you're going to pull through all five of those on your hook. So that makes a decrease. That is two stitches. You're turning two stitches into one stitch there. So you're decreasing that right there. So you can kind of see it. It's, it can be a little bit hard to see, but those two stitches right there are made into one stitch now. Now, sometimes what you'll get is you'll get a pattern and you see that instead of a decrease of two, there'll be a decrease of three. And um, I've seen it, not very often, but I've seen it, but I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. So you're gonna start off just like you did with two. So you're gonna have the three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over again, and then you're gonna pull up another. So this is just like you did before. So there's five loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over again and go underneath the next stitch, the third stitch, yarn over and then pull up another loop. So now there's seven. There's seven loops on your hook there and you're going to go yarn over one more time and pull through all seven of those. Now I've seen that um, when they want to make, sometimes I've seen it when you want to make a turn or when you want the stitch to kind of puff out a little bit there. I've seen designers do that. So here you have your half double crochet decreases. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. I've got some fun new projects coming up like a granny square dress. Thanks for watching again and have a great time crocheting.